something about these day in the life videos are supposed to show you what it's like to like get to work but I work from home hey Google turn the tall lamp on I don't really need to even get ready. That was just because I'm doing a video today. But, first coffee. Yeah, this is just a general overview of what I do during the week. I work with Enterprise Analytics. I'm a data engineer. Typical day for me, We'll start with a stand-up. Stand-up is basically where everyone in your team gets together and talks about what they did the previous day. We have one every day except Tuesdays because Tuesdays we have a data governance meeting where we meet with various stakeholders in the company and talk about what to universally call everything because every department calls things different things, like have different names for the same thing and have different ways of calculating the same thing. So that's been an ongoing effort for the last two years. Every other week, we have a sprint planning meeting on Mondays. It's about half an hour to an hour of like what we're going to do for the next two weeks. A sprint is just in a two-week period, this is what we're going to try to get done. Company by company can vary as far as how strict they are about completing things. The goal is to get as much done as you can, really, is kind of how Best Western does it. But, you know, they don't really look at it as like oh you have to get this done if it takes you 80 hours a week then you have to get it done they're not like that so there's some flexibility there once i sign into everything i pretty much just open sql workbench or aws quicksight and do my thing mostly what i work with is redshift which is our data lake, data warehouse. AWS services are all like browser based. If I'm changing something about the data lake, like if I need to add a new table, add new columns to an existing table, that's all done using SQL and Glue. Glue is the ETL service from AWS. Our jobs, our Glue jobs are in Python, but it's really just like a template or a wrapper around SQL because most of the people on our team and just throughout the company, their skill set is strongest in SQL. We're all learning Python as we go. And then we use another service called Code Commit to actually push the changes. It's a CI CD pipeline, so the changes will hit non prod first, and we can test it, and then we can push it to prod when it's ready to go. Then I have to, before it goes, to prod. I create change requests in an app called ShareWell and I have to have someone approve that and make sure that I even filled out the change request correctly. Other things are just like I'm on teams talking to my teammates and sending questions to people for whom I am doing a report or getting new columns into the data lake. I have any questions I typically email them and use teams only for like talking to my team and then Thursdays my team does like a lunch and learn so typically one of the senior team members will talk to us about something in AWS that either they developed or that would benefit the team 
just to get um, more knowledge. And a lot of it is usually the architecture guy. And he's really good about putting documentation together and showing us the different stuff that he's worked on. I think he also does it so that we can reference his documentation and he has more time to do his work, <laughs> which is a good thing. Because then, you know, if he's out or something, then we still have the information. And then sometimes it'll be like one of the senior um, data engineers talking about like changes to the data lake or we can also bring questions so if you're trying to figure out how to do something and no one's done it yet then we kind of brainstorm. Fridays we tend to or it's actually something the CDO kind of has mandated but whether it's really enforced that much is kind of up to you. Fridays after afternoon meetings are quote-unquote banned so that people aren't stuck in meetings on the last day of the week so that's kind of nice. I don't really work on the weekends unless maybe like an ETL fails. Usually if anything fails, it's kind of something that our architecture guy or our kind of DBA-ish engineer, she'll hop up or hop up, <laughs> hop online and figure out what's going on. So we have our source database and then we have the data lake and then we take things from all the different sources and DMS, which is a data migration services in AWS, we just change that to a verb. We DMS that stuff into Redshift. And once it's in Redshift, we can use glue to do the transformation part of it, of ETL, and then load it into our data warehouse within Redshift. All the reporting, well, we hope, <laughs> or we try, is based off of that schema because everything's already like, pretty and mapped out and clean and all of that. So that's what we base our reporting off of. Sometimes people have like external data that they have to pull in to a report and QuickSight allows you to do that. Sometimes people are pulling in CSVs and SQL, to, uh, SQLing, just me. That's a, I don't like saying that. <laughs> they use a SQL query and then they pull in like a CSV file or something for like, I don't know, a filter or, you know, whatever. And um, make that part of the report too. And after we put something in production, we have a code repository. Thank the gods. <laughs> because I've interviewed at companies where they're like, oh, you want to be like organized and smart. <laughs> we have a code repository in Bitbucket and we use Visual Studio to do our commits. It's just easier to use. Yeah, day in the life of a data engineer. I forgot to put my away message while I was on lunch. <laughs> okay, bye. Um, hold on. <clears throat> hey Google, what's the weather today? In Glendale today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 85 and a low of 57. It's currently 84 degrees and sunny. Huh. Typical October in Glendale, Arizona. In Glendale, the average high in October is 88 degrees Fahrenheit. The average low is 63 degrees. An average day in October has 11 hours of daylight. And there you have it. End of October in Phoenix slash Glendale. <laughs>